Mr. Tord! And I love you! And I am Sir Hammerlock, gentleman archaeologist. We hear you're planning a trip to Elpis, Pandora's moon. Just so you know, you're probably gonna die! But it will still be totally awesome! Elpis is a most controversial locale. You see, between the events of Borderlands and Borderlands 2, the man who would eventually become Handsome Jack hired four Vault Hunters to save mankind from a brand new evil. These escapades are chronicled in Borderlands the Free Sequel, which is an invented word denoting both prequel and sequel. SHAKESPEARE! <laughs> You've likely killed many things on Pandora already, but things are quite different up here on Elpis. FOR REALSIES! Yes, for realsies. The gravity is even lower, so you can jump extremely high into the atmosphere for acrobatic gunfights. Additionally, if you have an oxygen kit, or an Oz kit as the locals refer to them, you can slam down from great heights to squish your enemies to death. This maneuver is called a gravity slam! Do not call it a butt slam! You can also find upgraded Oz kits that add elemental damage to your slams, like fire or shock or acid or explosions. Or I have changed my mind, you can call it a butt slam. Butt slam. But that's not all Oz kits can do. You know what's better than jumping? Cuddling with someone you love very much. You know what's almost as awesome as that? Double jumping. Double jumping allows you to reach all new areas and traverse the environment with greater freedom than you ever had on Pandora! But Oz kids aren't the only loot you'll find on Elpis! Whispering! I know how much you like loot because we are best friends and I put your needs before my own! Well said, Mr. Torg. Pandora has 87 bazillion guns, but Elpis has even more. Take the new cryo weapons, for instance. For the first time ever, you can freeze an enemy with cryo damage, which will immobilize them and make them utterly helpless. Once you've done enough damage to them, they shall shatter into tiny little ice shards. Or maybe you're too cool for freeze weapons. Maybe you're more about blasting stuff with space science. Lucky for you, Elpis is chock full of laser weapons. You want to pew pew somebody with a blaster rifle? You can do that! You want to fire a massive real gun blast that kills a bad guy in one hit? No problem! Heck, help us even has laser shotguns! Laser shotguns! You're welcome! Not only that, but science has even made a continuous laser beam that looks just like the one from that movie, Ghost Dad! And if you get a piece of loot you don't like, Three items to grind. you can always toss it into the brand new grinder machine. Grinder Put less awesome things into the grinder, grind them up, and get something moderately more awesome. But who will be using all this loot, you ask? Easy. Four brand new Vault Hunters. A cyborg mercenary. A gunslinging sadist. An annoying robot, and a deadly gladiator. Gender equality! Wilhelm the Enforcer uses his two surveyor drones to tear up the battlefield. Wolf, his offensive drone, flies around attacking enemies, while Saint, his defensive drone, hangs back and heals Wilhelm like a true bro, as Tor would say. I would say that! You can also outfit Wilhelm with cybernetic enhancements! All systems are a go! Welcome to Robot Punch City! Population! Everyone's faces! Nisha the Lawbringer does not even give a tenth of a f With her showdown skill, Nisha automatically locks onto nearby enemies and gets increased everything! Gun damage, fire rate, reload speed, accuracy! If she's pissed enough, she can clear out an entire room in only a few seconds! Every time she takes damage, she also gains a stack of order! If she gets enough order, Nisha can use a lightning whip to do a downright bananas amount of damage to the enemies in front of her! That's right! Nisha likes dealing pain just as much as she likes receiving it! Which may seem weird to you, but don't judge! Whatever gets you there! Athena the Gladiator is unstoppable once she pulls out her kinetic Aspis shield. The more enemies shoot at Aspis, the more damage it does once Athena holds it like a weapon. She can even upgrade it to ricochet off multiple enemies. Athena can also use her sword to make enemies bleed. If she then grabs the You've Got Red on You skill, all bleeding enemies explode when they die. It is scientifically the best thing imaginable! 
Claptrap the Frag Trap is, shall we say, tricky. His Vault Hunter.exe program will analyze the battlefield, determine which Vault Hunter would be best suited for blowing up all of its problems right then, and then reprogram Claptrap to fight in that particular manner. Perhaps he'll unleash a barrage of cannon fire on his enemies, or maybe he'll summon the spirit of the Gunzerker and Dual Wheel. He might even unleash his inner psycho and go into full-on meat bicycle mode. Or if you mess up and just make the entire team uncontrollably bouncy! It's not malware, it's a feature! Here I come to play the day! Oh, and this time around, the Vault Hunters will be much chattier Cathy's than before! Like the fun kind of talk? Or the dull kind? This is so friggin' hot. While the old Vault Hunters didn't have much to say outside of combat, these four new badasses will have lots to say about the story and their place in it! I'm programmed to be foolishly optimistic in situations such as these! Why am I not surprised? Characters I show! Wow, 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 wow! Speaking of characters, you'll be seeing some new faces on Opus, in addition to some familiar ones. This is Springs, a super nice scrap vendor with a super huge crush on Athena. This is Nurse Nina, who will keep you alive, but totally laugh when you're in pain. Also, Moxie is on the moon for some reason! Reasons! But anyway, Opus requires your help quite badly. You see, a number of homicidal doll soldiers known as the Lost Legion have taken over Hyperion's orbital moon base, and they plan to use its enormous laser to destroy both Elpis and Pandora. Only the Vault Hunters, aided by a lowly Hyperion programmer named Jack, can stop the Lost Legion's commander from killing thousands of innocent people. Which is weird, because Jack, Wilhelm, and Nisha end up being bad guys in Borderlands 2. So it's like, wait, am I a bad guy? Or were the so-called bad guys not as bad as I thought? Moral ambiguity! Taste the Nietzsche in a complex mother The Abyss Gate is also into you. Or, if looking into the heart of darkness isn't your thing, you can still have a buttload of fun checking out the new moon environments. There's lava stuff, moon stuff, sexy caverns, no big deal. Also, cities. Also, big holes in the ground. Also, all the cool stuff on Hyperion's Helios moon base that I didn't mention in the preceding list. Hammerlock, talk about enemies or something. Of course. Many new baddies shall attempt to stop your heroic efforts. Lost Legion engineers will deploy turrets and singularity reactors to suck you in. While you're shooting at them, a Lost Legion medic might come in and heal them, thus screwing up all your plans. Later, perhaps you'll run into a beastly Kragon. You'll kill it, but then, good gracious, he'll split into two smaller Kragons who are equally deadly. What quirk of evolution resulted in such a defense mechanism? Or, better question, who cares? Why try to learn stuff when you could just spread them over with one of the new moon vehicles? Their physiology doesn't count for much when they're crunching under your wheels or burning under your hover jets. Am I right? You are not at all right, but please continue. For all the stuff that's new in Ghost Dad, everything you liked before is back. Four player co op, split screen, item trading, badass ranks, except now you can show off your rank to all your friends. Tons of skills, multiple playthroughs, head customizations, skin customizations, vehicle customizations, internet memes. Just kidding, we didn't leave the f out of all those internet memes. Those were awful. Our bad. Wow, such memes very regret. It's nearly time, you badass of badasses. The Lost Legion is on the warpath, and it's up to you and Jack to save the world. Grab a freeze gun. High five your best friend and get your ass to the moon! Murderland's the pre-sequel! Wow!